yo what's up youtube uh, welcome back welcome back to another video on the channel today we're continuing off on that steering wheel install today i'm going to show you guys how to get your horn working because you can see right now no horn um so there is this just a special way on these integras uh, i saw a lot of videos on how to get that horn working and it is all going to be with this little Honda horseshoe thing, so uh, yeah, uh, let's get to it. I'm going to just go ahead and uh, take the steering wheel apart and just show you guys how to get this wired. Make it a quick, straight, easy video for you guys that are trying to figure out how to wire your horn. Okay, so here it is. It's a little horseshoe. I think that's what they call it. It's a horseshoe. Basically, it's going to go behind the steering wheel here, and this little metal piece is going to conduct onto this metal thing on the NRG hub back here um so if you guys seen I think I'm, I might have showed you guys there's like a goldish metal like plate kind of thing going on this is what it's gonna rub on and then uh once every time you press your horn this grounds out and this goes straight into the horn wire to the car and it honks your horn so put that to the side and let's take this wheel off I could get it with one hand put the wheel to the side and then we got to take off this top cover and bottom cover all right so we got the little cover off from the top and the bottom and so let me just show you guys you see you can see this little see this metal piece on this white little thing with the hub that's where that shoehorn will go or whatever this thing is i don't even know the actual name for it basically you could either from what i've seen people have put it here basically connect it like this onto that screw so let's go ahead and do that all right so i went ahead and i actually went ahead and mounted it to that uh, turn signal screw so I have it mounted down and then this piece is going back here and it is making contact with this gold plate on the back. Um, and then I had to basically uh, bend this piece back uh, and get a good view of it. Bend that piece back so that it's out of the way of everything um, because that's where your wire is going to connect. Uh, make sure it's away from anything that's ground or hot. Don't be like me and I was, you know, trying to figure out where to mount it and then I accidentally <laughs> grounded it to the ignition wire here. So, uh, yeah, don't be like me and do that. So you are going to get scared and shocked. Um, but, yeah, that's where the horseshoe goes. Horseshoe. I'm just going to call it a horseshoe because I don't really know what this is. But I'll put that there and then I'm going to go ahead and this wire here with the three pins that's the wire for your horn um these two wires are for the airbag but i basically did a cut on it um i heard that you can put a resistor on here so that the airbag light will turn off but me i'm probably just going to take the bulb out for the airbag light um and then yeah so basically the wire for this is a three pin wire it's going to be the blue wire here the third wire so let me see one two three so yeah one you can see it goes from one two three on here it will zoom in but it's gonna be that blue wire right there so get yourself some snippers we'll snip that off and then i'm gonna run that wire to to that horseshoe okay so now that your wire is snipped back you want to try to get it you know as far back as possible because it is just gonna go straight into there um so let me see so you can see once you ground that blue wire out the horn goes off so uh that's the correct wire right there <laughs> and then um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and splice this back put a male connector on it with heat shrink and i'm gonna heat shrink it on there just so it's all one solid connection and then we'll plug it straight into there okay so here we have my heat shrink on there um 
I couldn't get the heat shrink all the way up here, but that'll still do. I mean, it'll, it's it's not like it's a, gonna touch anything anyway. So what we're gonna do is just bring it straight back here and just plug it into this horn thing. Just like that, plugged in. And all these other wires you could just push back here and hide get it out of the way and then yeah, just like that we're all done it's all good so now when I put my steering wheel on it should work see how that works so there it is now you know what I mean just put all this stuff back on you guys don't need to see all that because that's pretty straightforward just put all this stuff back on and you have a working horn so yeah just like that i mean quick little video for you guys uh to get the horn working actually you know what in this video i think i'm gonna show you i, I have a leather shift boot for this car and i also put on a skunk 2 dual bend short throw with a hybrid racing shift knob so i do have a um leather shift boot that i'm gonna put on i'll just throw it in this video so you guys can see that too so yeah let's go ahead and uh let me put all this stuff back on i'll be back with the shift boot install okay so this is all done horn works shifter this shifter feels so much better than the stock one it's hybrid racing knob with a skunk to a dual bend and i think earlier i said k-tune i don't know why i keep calling this a k-tune but this is a skunk 2 dual bend with a hybrid racing shift knob and polyurethane uh, bushing so the one at the front and one right here like literally right under here the car all polyurethane so this shifter just feels so much better than OEM no more wiggling and all that it's just notchy it's nice <laughs> I actually haven't even been able to drive it to see how it feels while driving just because uh, as you can see I got a bunch of parts there O2 sensor um, I had to put a new cat on this car and this car used to have a GSR swap so this car is an LS but this car used to have a GSR swap the GSR swap that was in here um, you know they had the GSR stock headers GSR stock cat and that's what the guy that sold me the car gave me and I put an LS in here so that worked like I, I had a GSR header on the LS and the GSR cat but it failed smog so that's why I had to get a new cat and the cat I got is for the LS and basically the cat that's for the LS a lot shorter than the GSR cat but the header for the LS header stock headers are a lot longer so basically now that whole cat is like pushed back and my stock exhaust I'll just show you guys here see how the stock exhaust here it had what had an extension so this is a stock LS exhaust which was extended to fit on the GSR cat and headers so now that I'm putting LS cat and headers this doesn't fit it just like pushes everything back and yeah I've been freaking waiting for a cap back so you guys will actually see a cat back install on this car so because i ordered the ordered a yanaka cat back for the car so yeah i mean stay tuned to see that i'll probably it's coming in tomorrow so i'll actually make a video on that tomorrow and i'll drop it on the next video some sound clips and stuff so that should be a cool video <laughs> right now it's just right now it's open header so if you guys want to hear it sounds like shit but yeah it's, it's horrible so that's why i haven't been driving this car around um because no cat and open header will equal no power and freaking just sound stupid so yeah expect the yonaka cap back install soon so let's go ahead and get to this this is pretty straightforward my there's supposed to be two screws here and two screws in here but i don't have those screws so like i just pick it up and uh yeah it's already off so that piece comes off and this piece oh you gotta take the knob off first okay 
that nice. Nice weighted. Oh shit. Well, there goes the hybrid racing knob. Very nice knob. And then get this out of there, and then see how I said two screws are supposed to be there, but they're not. So just pull up like this, and it'll pull out. Once that pulls out, you see two screws up here, one there, one there, and then that basically comes off, and uh, your whole shift boot just comes right out. So let me go ahead and take this off, and I'll show you guys. One screw right there, one screw right there. So now, here's the frame that comes out of it. The shift boot just is like all slits in it. So, let me go take this boot off and uh, put the new one on. Alright y'all, so... <laughs> that's where we're going to end it for today. We got the horn working on the tag. And I got my leather shift boot on. It's like... It's nice. I kind of don't really like this collar, but I'm gonna probably just leave it down like this because I think it looks more better like that. But yeah, it's a leather shift boot to match my leather steering wheel with the blue stitching, and this stuff does have blue stitching too. It is kind of hard to see because it's small, but oh well, it's way better than that suede. That suede was like it would have gotten dirty hella fast. So, excuse me, I got like very bad allergies right now. So. Just like that, I mean, we're pretty much done. I'll see you guys in the next one. Next one's probably gonna be a Yanaka Catback install, so probably tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys.